Shui Hark, born Shui Man Kong, is a Hong Kong film director, producer and screenwriter. Shui has directed several influential Hong Kong films such as Su, Warriors from the Magic Mountain, the Once Upon a Time in China film series and The Blade. Shui also has been a prolific writer and producer. His productions include A Better Tomorrow, A Chinese Ghost Story, The Killer, The Legend of the Swordsman, The Wicked City, Iron Monkey and Black Mask. He is viewed as a major figure in the golden age of Hong Kong cinema and is regarded by critics as one of the masters of Asian cinematography. In the late 1990s, Shui had a short-lived career in the United States, directing the Jean-Claude Van Damme-led films Double Team and Knock Off. Both films were commercially unsuccessful and critically panned, Shui himself was unsatisfied with his lack of creative control and returned to Hong Kong to continue his career, where he found commercial and critical success with blockbusters such as the Detective D film series, Flying Swords of Dragon Gate, and The Taking of Tiger Mountain. Shui was born and raised in Saigon, Vietnam, to a large Chinese family with 16 siblings. Shui showed an early interest in show business and films. When he was 10, he and some friends rented an 8mm camera to film a magic show they put on at school. He also drew comic books, an interest that would influence his cinematic style. By the age of 13, he and his family immigrated to Hong Kong. Shui started his secondary education in Hong Kong in 1966. He proceeded to study film in Texas, first at Southern Methodist University and then at the University of Texas at Austin, graduating in 1975. He claims to have told his parents he wanted to follow in his father's footsteps as a pharmacist, and that it was here he changed his given name to Hark. After graduation, Shui moved to New York City, where he worked on From Spikes to Spindles, a noted documentary film by Christine Choi on the history of the city's Chinatown. He also worked as an editor for a Chinese newspaper, developed a community theater group and worked in a Chinese cable TV station. He returned to Hong Kong in 1977. Upon turning to feature filmmaking, Shui was quickly typed as a member of the new wave of young, iconoclastic directors. His debut film, The Butterfly Murders, was a technically challenging blend of wuxia, murder mystery and science fiction, fantasy elements. His second film, We're Going to Eat You, was a blend of cannibal horror, black comedy and martial arts. Shui's third film, Dangerous Encounters of the First Kind, was a nihilistic thriller about delinquent youths on a bombing spree. Heavily censored by the British colonial government, it was released in 1981 in a drastically altered version titled Dangerous Encounter, First Kind. It was not a financial success. However, it helped make Shui a darling of film critics who had coined the new wave label, and who were hopeful for a more aesthetically daring cinema more engaged with the realities of contemporary Hong Kong. In 1981, Shui joined Cinema City and Films Company, a production company founded by comedians Raymond Wong, Carl Maka, and Dean Sheck. Cinema City and Films Company was instrumental in codifying the slick Hong Kong blockbuster films of the 1980s. Shui played his part in the process with pictures like the crime farce All the Wrong Clues, his first hit, and Aces Go Places 3, part of the studio's long-running spy spoof series. In 1983, Shui directed the wuxia fantasy film Su, Warriors from the Magic Mountain for the studio Golden Harvest. Shui imported Hollywood technicians to help create special effects whose number and complexity were unprecedented in Chinese-language cinema. In 1984, Shui formed the production company Film Workshop with Nansun Shi. He also developed a reputation as a hands-on and even intrusive producer of other directors' work, fueled by public breaks with major filmmakers like John Wu and King Hu. His most long-standing and fruitful collaboration has probably been with Ching Siu Tong. As action choreographer and or director on many Film Workshop productions, Ching made a major contribution to the well-known Shui style. Film Workshop releases became consistent box office hits in Hong Kong and around Asia, drawing audiences with their visual adventurousness, their broad commercial appeal, and hectic camera work and pace. With Shui having been called the Steven Spielberg of Asia, Film Workshop became the emblem of Hong Kong. He produced John Woo's A Better Tomorrow, which launched a craze for heroic bloodshed movies, and Ching Siu Tung's A Chinese Ghost Story, which did the same for period ghost fantasies. Su. Warriors from the Magic Mountain and the Swordsman birthed the modern-day special effects industry in Hong Kong. In fact, Shui's movie Brat Nostalgia is one of the main ingredients in his work. 
He often resurrects and revises classic films and genres, the murder mystery in The Butterfly Murders, the Shanghai musical comedy and Shanghai blues. Peking Opera Blues plays with and pays tribute to the traditions of the Peking Opera that his mother took him to see as a small boy and which had such a strong influence on Hong Kong action cinema. The Lovers Adapts a Retold, Cross-Dressing Period Romance, best known from Li Han Shang's 1963 opera film The Love Eterne. A Chinese ghost story remakes Li's supernatural romance The Enchanting Shadow as a special effects action movie. The pattern is also seen in perhaps Shui's most successful work to date, the Once Upon a Time in China film series. Jet Li played the role of Chinese folk hero Wang Fei Hung in the first three films and the sixth, Once Upon a Time in China and America. This series is the clearest expression in his oeuvre of Shui's Chinese nationalism and his passionate engagement with the upheavals of Chinese history, particularly in the face of Western power and influence. Shui also dabbled in acting, mostly for other directors. Notable roles include one-third of the comic relief trio in Corey Ewan's film Yes, Madam, and a villain in Patrick Tam's darkly comic crime story Final Victory, written by Wong Karwei. He also made frequent cameo appearances in his own productions, such as a music judge in A Better Tomorrow and a phony FBI agent in Aces Go Places 2. In the face of an industry downturn in the 90s, he produced two expensive movies. Green Snake was a poetic and lyric movie based on a favorite Chinese fairy tale. The Blade was a gory, deliberately rough-hewn revision of the 1967 wuxia classic The One-Armed Swordsman. In the mid to late 90s, Shui tried Hollywood with two films starring Jean-Claude Van Damme, Double Team and Knock Off. In 2002, he made Black Mask 2, City of Masks, an American market sequel to Jet Li's 1996 film. It was released direct-to-video in the United States in December of that year before being theatrically released the next month in Hong Kong. Shui returned to directing at home in 2000 after not having made a local film since 1996. Time and Tide and The Legend of Sue were action extravaganzas with lavish computer-generated imagery that gained cult admirers but no mass success. Shui continues to push technical boundaries and revise old favorites. Master Q 2001 was Hong Kong's first combination of live-action and Pixar-style 3D computer animation. Era of Vampires reworked a subgenre popular in the 80s, hybrid martial arts, supernatural horror films featuring the hopping corpses of Chinese folk legend. In 2005, Xu launched the multimedia production Seven Swords, a film adaptation of Liang Yusheng's novel Sai Wai Chir Xia Zhuan and Qi Jian Xia Tianshan. The film came with a television series counterpart, a comic book series, a cell phone game, clothing brand, and an online multiplayer video game. The film was relatively successful, and in February 2006 Shui announced plans to begin filming the second late in the year. As of 2008, Shui continues to work on the script for Seven Swords 2 in between filming projects. In 2011 there has been no news nor plans about a Seven Swords 2. Rumors has it that due to lack of interest by the filmmakers of finishing the hexology lead the project into being cancelled. In August 2008, Shui provided art direction for the direct-to-video anime feature titled Kung Fu Master, an apparent unofficial sequel to Kung Fu Panda, featuring Chinese folk hero Wang Fei Hung. Also in 2008 was the thriller Missing starring Angelica Lee. His latest comedy film All About Women features wonky sound editing and comic graphics. Shui's latest work in 2010 is Detective D in the Mystery of the Phantom Flame, a rare but successful blend of wuxia, suspense thriller. Mystery, and Comedy, which was in competition for the Golden Lion Award and was also nominated and won numerous other awards. In 2010 he announced his first 3D film, The Flying Swords of Dragon Gate, which is a reimagining of his 1992 film New Dragon Gate in starring Tony Lung Kafai, Maggie Cheung, and Brigitte Lin. In 2011 Wu Yi Brothers announced that Shui will be making a prequel to Detective D in The Mystery of the Phantom Flame, shot in 3D, it was released in 2013 as Young Detective D, Rise of the Sea Dragon. Recently he has announced another children's film project titled Monster Wanted. In October 2011, Shu received the Asian Filmmaker of the Year Award at the 16th Pusan International Film Festival for his contributions to Hong Kong cinema. He is the fifth Chinese filmmaker to receive this award at Pusan. His film The Taking of Tiger Mountain premiered in China in December 2014. Shui is set to work on a film with Milky Way image with An Hui, John Wu, Ringo Lam, Patrick Tam, Johnny Tu, Sammo Hung and Yuan Wu Ping each director will create a segment based on Hong Kong history.
This project was completed and shown at the annual Hong Kong International Film Festival in April 2021, Septet, The Story of Hong Kong. Shui was featured on a track which bore his name on the 1994 Sparks album Gratuitous Sax and Senseless Violins. Thanks for watching.